What highly illegal thing took place at your high school? Some girl brought cupcakes made with cum, called them cum cakes. Proceeded to ask everyone in class if they wanted one. High school coach didn't keep tabs on her team during a week-long beach trip to play games in Florida. Parents supplied kids with alcohol. One of my teammates snaps his neck diving into the ocean. Coach fired, kid paralyzed. Literal chaos within our baseball program ensued. It was awful. I transferred. Spanish teacher got arrested for illegally bringing over a 14-year-old Argentinian girl and keeping her as a sex toy. But since she was here illegally and wouldn't testify against him she was deported and he came back to school later in the year. Come to find out a couple of years later he had molested like half of the girls' volleyball team he was the coach of. My senior year one of my friends was murdered by her boyfriend and he drove around with her body in the trunk for a couple of hours. Also, a couple of kids got caught giving each other piercings in the stairwells. There were four freshmen in the bathroom stall just vaping and a teacher came in so they freaked out and didn't want to get in trouble so they thought calling the cops on the teacher for harassment would get them out of trouble. They got expelled an hour after the cops arrived. We had a science teacher say, if you don't put goggles on, I'm going to have to spray you in the eyes with Lysol which was probably not illegal until the student tried to call her bluff. She wasn't bluffing. This was middle school, but our computer teacher was fired after they caught him watching porn in the computer lab during lunch. Rumor has it, he was watching on the big projector screen they use for teaching. The cool gang of kids, not me, I've never been anywhere near cool, got into a dare contest which ended up with one of them having to get a pair of knickers from a particular girl. She didn't want to play the game so he ended up cornering her in a boy's toilet and cutting them off her with a knife. We never saw him at the school again. All games were banned. A teacher was caught having sex with an autistic student. I believe the student claimed to have loved her. Her dad was also a teacher at the same school and he left after the incident came out. Edit, teacher was female, student was male. Little bit of backstory first. Our school had a big renovation ongoing, and because of that, almost half off the school was closed down. The closed part included the biggest bathrooms and because of that, the school administration ordered two toilet barracks to be placed on the schoolyard. So, some 7-9th graders decided to buy some toilet pipe opener liquid, I don't know what is the correct term, an aluminium foil. They put the aluminium foil inside some plastic bottles and pour a little pipe opener in them with the foil. As someone has probably done this before, knows what is going to happen next. They stuck six bottles total inside the toilet bowls in every stall of one barack and blew them up due to the chemical reaction between the foil and the opener. All the pipings of the single barack were destroyed due to water pressure inside the pipes. Turns out that the two barracks had connected pipings and the water that was in the bowls in the other barrack shot up to the ceiling due to pressure. The students never got caught and if I remember correctly, the incident ended up costing a hefty amount for the school administration. The barracks were taken away and were replaced with new ones. After the incident, every recess there was a teacher in front on the barracks monitoring everyone going in and out. Nothing happened to the new toilets. A film crew lied about what kind of film they were making. Turns out it was porn. So my high school is the setting of the film The Cheerleaders. Pretty sure that's illegal. Yeah it's pretty tame what do you want from me I live in Cupertino. Pre-internet days, kinda, CDs were a thing. I had a massive CD collection in a gigantic book in my locker. I typed up lists of all the artists and albums I owned. So I had these flyers everywhere and for $3 a CD I'd burn you a copy. This was right when CD burners came out and my stepdad was super into the latest and greatest tech so we had the cool gadgets when they came out. I eventually was caught but for a time I made killer money. A special ed kid got jumped by a dude on his way to school and was beaten bloody. The whole thing was recorded by the guy's girlfriend and her friend. 
the whole time they were cheering him on yelling things like world star, and so on. She later posted it on Instagram which pissed off everyone and just about everyone wanted to beat the dude up in the vid. He was given temporary suspension, fucking BS, while the police took care of him. From what I know, he was given a assault charge. Also side note, there was a girl at my school who was in minor league boxing who was ready to beat him up, she even tried looking for him by his house. Our football coach took off with one of the girls in the high school and moved to Mexico and married her. He had a wife and kids. They then hired a brand new football coach who was 23 years old. Before the end of his first year, he was hooking up with an 18-year-old senior girl. They also took off and went somewhere. We went without a coach for a couple years. My teacher was molesting my 14-year-old classmate for a while. He went to jail and is still there 20 years later because another past victim came forward. So that's pretty illegal. One of the old teacher's aides got arrested for child porn and filming the elementary kid's bathroom. Child Pornography Filming Two underage seniors from my graduating class filmed a full-on porno with some 20-year-old dude. Circulated to like 30 kids in the class and was a huge scandal for the school for a while. One of them was expelled while the other was just given a suspension because she otherwise had a clean record and was on one of the sports teams. Not sure if they ever found the dude. Not my school, but friends two students threw a chair from a balcony. They've hit an eight-month pregnant teacher. She passed out. The principal refused to let an ambulance evacuate her from school grounds, because it had tattered their school's reputation, so she has had the custodian drag the unconscious bleeding pregnant teacher out of the school, and only then she called the ambulance. The teacher has had a stillbirth consequently to that incident. Grew up in a small town. When a lamb got sick and was dying our AG teacher just had us go out behind the classroom building and shoot it. We ended up pulling a massive tapeworm out of it. Definitely not legal to have guns on campus let alone use them. A teacher and an administrator embezzled millions. I didn't even know all this happened until years after graduation. Some of my friends had the teacher in question. A teacher sexually harassed like, 12 students. The issue is everybody loved that guy, he won Best Teacher Award like two days before his arrest. P.S. No this isn't Persona 5, this actually did happen. I'm not making a clever joke about Kamoshida, although I probably would have, this was a real guy, one Mr. Chu. Had a pretty controversial case involving a handicapped student who had cerebral palsy and muscular dystrophy. His parents filed a lawsuit accusing two of his handlers of abusing him by dumping him out of his chair and forcing him to wear a neck brace so he'd look them in the eye. Worst part was I don't think the handlers suffered any consequences. I looked up articles on it and all of them highlight the abuse and lawsuit, but none follow through with the results which is frustrating. Had a guy selling heroin. After that there was a weekly police presence. Also, a kid bound a girl to a chair, gagged her and stuffed her in a cupboard in the woodworking shop. He claims it was to help her complete the sponsored silence she had been doing that day. Kids were selling candy and snacks to other students, obliterating the monopoly that the vending machines once held. Administration cut that shit out real quick. Half my school burned down because some idiot thought it would be a good idea to light a wrestling mat on fire. Pro tip, wrestling mats are very flammable. Weren't able to have sports all year, talent shows and concerts in the auditorium. Benefit was we got two weeks off from school while they vented slash cleaned up the mess. All I can remember was the kid was a minor so the parents pretty much owed millions to the school. Update, just googled the kid's name and found out he died a year later in a car accident near the school he transferred to, because he was expelled obviously. I interviewed to teach at a high school once. One of the questions from the school board was can you avoid sleeping with your students? Me, yes, yes I can. School board thinks I'm great, principal thinks I'm great. 
superintendent of schools doesn't think I'm cut out for the job, gives me the runaround. Principal is trying to help me push through it and get hired, but I finally give up and get a normal job elsewhere. Superintendent hires his nephew, wonder why he gave me the runaround, who promptly has sex with a student and gets fired. I still see the principal occasionally, he always apologizes, I wanted to hire you. He's way too nice to have been stuck at that lousy school. Basketball coach was fucking players' parents. When faculty and authorities started looking into the situation they found that he was also posting in the classified ads as a prostitute. Edit, also forgot to mention the coach that replaced him was living in one of the basketball team locker rooms for s while, that whole situation didn't make much sense to me. Another edit, a lot of people are asking why it is illegal to fuck a parent. I don't think it is but the faculty started looking into it after complaints of favoritism towards the children of these parents. Basically I fuck your mom, you start varsity and then the prostitution was found quite easily, it was a small town. The cheerleaders got caught selling morphine. The football team got into a brawl with a rival school at a local pizza place over said morphine scandal. A huge fiasco over a kid putting baking soda and vinegar in a test tube and sealing it and taping it under a lunch table till it exploded. Edit, to clarify, the baking soda vinegar incident was completely separate from the morphine and brawl one. Sorry for the confusion. The principal was fucking students. A few years after I graduated, some parents found out and took him to court. He hanged himself before he could be convicted. Edit, corrected the word from hung. A good friend of my dorky group brought contraband Russian vodka to high school all the time, he ran a scam selling fake web hosting, and once got into real trouble for making one of these shock websites, a la goat C, with malicious code in it that forced you to physically restart the computer if you wanted out of it. Ah, yes, he got into trouble because he made another kid's name appear on it, implying he was the guy being featured in the shocking porno. Other than that, my high school only had the usual things. Drug dealers, thieves, and a certain teacher that tried to coerce girls into giving him sexual favors in exchange of grades, and failing miserably. A terrorist bomb exploded just in front of our school when I was in middle school. We were studying when it happened, there was a big smoke, glasses were shattered, everybody rushed outside as soon as they heard the explosion. I just stood dumbstruck in my seat for a full 10 seconds before being able to move. Years later this is still the most overwhelming experience in my life. Not highly illegal, but not legal either. I figured out how to make fake IDs in my home darkroom and showed a friend how to do it. This was in the early 70s, before Photoshop, when analog darkrooms and chemical-based photography were the only option. He went into production in the school darkroom. His quality sucked, he got caught. My quality was excellent, but I only made one for me. Two students planned and carried out a coordinated attack on one of the math teachers by waiting by the top of the stairs between periods, and when he passed by them to go down the steps, one of them pushed him from behind while the other put his leg out to trip him. The teacher fell down the steps and broke his neck and back and was paralyzed from the neck down. The kid's reasoning, because one of them was dropped from the basketball team because he was failing that teacher's math class. Both of them were 15 years old, so they didn't get jail time, they both got expelled and were sent to juvenile detention. The teacher sued the school district and got a settlement in the lower seven-digit range. We had a softball coach sleep with his students. But a far more interesting story that didn't technically take place on school grounds. There was this kid who was constantly being harassed by bullies, they would even follow him after school and attack him. So there was this hardware store across the street and a lot of kids would hang out in the parking lot after school. The bullies chased the kid inside and cornered him in the garden section. They kept hitting and kicking him so the dude grabbed an axe from one of the shelves and just started swinging, all the bullies ended up in the hospital with various injuries. Security camera got the whole thing but I can't remember now if Gimli son of Gloin was charged or if it was ruled self-defense. Update, 
I followed up with my sister who actually knew the kids involved better than me, she was closer to their age. The news articles that came out at the time didn't really talk about the pattern of abuse that led to the axe kicking, but she did confirm that Gimli was sent to juvenile corrections for a while. She remembered when he got out and as far as she knew he was doing well. Edit, thank you for silver and gold. Edit too, so I thought I left things vague but apparently this incident was unique enough that people have found some of the news articles. There are more details about the subsequent legal action in those for interested parties.